fishies, not froggies. When these tadpoles get older, they're going to become froggies. Some animals, like frogs, have bodies that change from one form to another as they grow. That's called metamorphosis. Mother frogs lay eggs. When the eggs hatch, tadpoles come out. Tadpoles are baby frogs. Mm. The tadpoles have long tails and live and breathe underwater, just like fish do. Uh-huh, fishies. Yeah, but watch this. As the tadpoles get older, their bodies change. Legs. Right. First, they grow their back legs and then their front legs. And they don't have to stay underwater all the time. They can come out on land. As they change, their tails get shorter and shorter until they look like that. Frogs are so cool. Yeah. Hmm. change form as they grow, but you won't. You'll stay the same as you grow. Just like these animals. You'll just get bigger. No wings. No wings, but a much bigger you. Uh, just Nash? Yeah, always Nash, but bigger. Okay. <laughs> Like it. It would be nice to turn into a lion. Or to grow a tail. Or wings. Now that is cool. But Nash is going to stay Nash. And that's great. He's just going to get bigger. Yeah. Big Nash. See? Whoa. Whoa. It's a really big Nash. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. I wish I'd brought my hat. Here, my hat. You brought it in your backpack? Mm-hmm. Wow, thanks, Nash. High five, buddy. Whoa! Oops. <clears throat> How about I carry that for a bit? <sighs> I'm so hot. Whew. I'm sweaty. I'm hot and sweaty. Oh, I wish I brought some water. Ah! Water! Wawa, Wawa, for everybody. Thanks, Nash. Maybe bringing that backpack wasn't such a bad idea. Actually, it's turning out to be a really great idea. Hey, look! Rhinos? They're still a little far. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Nash. Yup. Let's go. Don't forget the backpack. I got it, buddy. I'll help. Boy, they're big. One of the biggest land animals. Elephants are the biggest. Rhinos are so big that nothing around here eats them. Uh, what's up with those little birds? It looks like they're pecking at the rhinos' backs. It's eating bugs. I think you're right, Nash. The birds are picking bugs off the rhinos and eating them. I've heard of them. They're called oxpeckers. They help the rhinos by keeping them free of bugs. 
And the rhinos help the oxpeckers by giving them a source of food. No wonder the rhinos let the oxpeckers peck them. They're both getting something they need. Just like Nash helped us out today. Yeah, we never would have made it to see the rhinos without Nash and his backpack. And Nash would have never made it here with his backpack without everyone helping to carry it. I wonder what else he's got in there. <laughs> Run! Stuff! Teddy, bouncy ball, helmet, socks, book, pippers. My stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we better help Nash get all of his stuff back into his backpack. And get it all the way back to the polo mobile. Right. Another hot, sweaty, thirsty hike to... Right over there. We barely left the polo mobile. Oh, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> Go, buddy. Oh no! <sighs> you okay, Nash? Mm -mm. I know. I'm upset too. Maybe we can find a way to help. Help, help, Totals! Clean, clean up! Nash is right. We need to do something about this garbage. Uh huh. Oh yeah. It's cleanup time. I'll get the polo marine. Moko, go there. Over there, can't do. Lily, that way. That way, I'm on it. Chester, Chester, come here. Huh? Chester, he's saying, come with me. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Why can everyone understand Nash but me? I don't know. <laughs> Everybody clean up, clean up Everybody clean up, clean up Get the mess gone, get your clean on Everybody clean up, clean up It's a great big world with a big responsibility And if we work together we can keep our planet clean the very best way you can help is to pick up after yourself. Then let's go be a cleanup team. Everybody clean up, clean up. Everybody clean up, clean up. Get your mask on, get your clean on. Everybody clean up, clean up. Yay! The ocean's a big place, and there's still lots of it to clean up. But we did a great job here. Especially you, Nash. Yeah, we're really proud of you. And Nash, now I hope you understand the importance of cleaning up after yourself. Zebras have black and white stripes, Nash. Of course, there's more than one species of zebra. Chester, maybe that's it. It turns out there are three different kinds of zebras. And each kind of zebra has different stripes. Take a look, Nash. Nope, long stripes. Well, there's this one. Nah, -uh. Here's the third one. The plain zebra. That looks like one we've seen around here. What do you say? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But wait, what is it, Lily? We still don't know how to pick out Natchez zebra from all the other zebras around here. Yes, but it also says that every individual zebra has a unique pattern of stripes. So you can tell them apart. But we don't know what that zebra looks like. Hmm. Heel. <gasps> Nash is selfie with the zebra. We'll totally be able to see its stripes now. Audrey, could you scan for zebra herds? 
Scanning. Scanning. I have detected a few herds of zebra directly ahead. All go. right. Then let's go. Wow. So many zebras. And we have to find just the right set of stripes. I'm having an engineering moment. Behold, the Polo Zebra Matcher. It should be able to compare the stripe pattern of Nash's zebra to any other zebra. Cool. Yay! Is it here? Hmm. It doesn't look like Nash's zebra is in this herd. Well, I guess we'll keep looking then. Let's go! It's not in this herd. Or this one. Nope. Nash's zebra isn't in this herd either. I wonder why zebras even have stripes. <gasps> when they move, their stripes make it hard to tell where one zebra starts and another one ends. So it would be hard for predators too. That must be why they have stripes. For protection. My zebra! <laughs> Scanning? Scanning? It's a match! That's Nash's zebra! I think Nash already knew that. Hello! Yeah. Yeah. Scientists think their stripes also confuse bugs and keep them from being bitten. <sighs> I wish I had stripes. Whoa. Wonderful! Yeah. Wonderful! <laughs> Yay! Thank you very much! So tarantulas hunt their prey on the ground? Yep. Whoa, Whoa. cool. <laughs> I didn't know tarantulas even had fangs. All spiders do. What? Yeah. Or that they were venomous. Yeah, we should be careful. Tarantulas are not very dangerous to people. A bite would be kind of like a bee sting. Still. Yeah, totally. Let's be careful. Oh! Hey, look! There goes our tarantula! Oh. It must be hunting. Looking for insects. But tarantulas don't just eat insects. Take a look at this. Mouse! Is the mouse going to eat the tarantula? Watch! The tarantula tried to eat the mouse. That's amazing! I think tarantulas are totally amazing. Hunting their prey on the ground instead of a web? A spider that does things differently. Which kind of gives me an idea about our game of dodgeball. That we can't play because Nash lost his ball. Sorry! It's okay, Nash. What if we do things differently like the tarantula? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, Polos. We want to play dodgeball, right? Right. So much. But we don't have a ball. Nope. Absolutely no ball. But we do have all of this stuff. And if we just think about it differently, maybe we can find something here to use. After all, we can dodge anything we want. You're right. Let's see what we've got. Dodge bike helmet? Too hard. Dodge sunglasses? They'll break. Dodge water bottle? Too splashy. Dolphin! Dodge dolphin? Well, it is nice and soft. It won't break. It will be easy to catch. I think we just found a way to play dodgeball differently. Dodge, dodge dolphin! dolphin. to lift off. I'm flying us in a test loop to show us what it feels like to lift off. Whoa! 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 When we zoom up really fast, 
past, this is what we'll feel. High G-forces. This means we'll feel heavier. Uh. Oh, wow. 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 And when we get to space, this is what we'll feel. Low G-forces. We'll feel lighter, like we're weightless. Yeah, won't that be fun, Willow? Oh, I won't be floating, Marco. This pilot's got to stay focused. Is everyone feeling OK? I'm good. Yay! Affirmative. Great. Then we're ready to be Astro Polos. Audrey, change to Polo Galactic and begin countdown, please. Polo Galactic launch in five, four, three, two, one, liftoff. Off complete. Welcome to space, Polos. You may now unbuckle your seatbelts and begin floating around in the cabin. Hey! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is Willow! Nice. Oh. Willow, you've got to try this. Weightlessness is the best. I'm sure it is, but someone has to pilot the ship. Set it on autopilot. That's just for emergencies. It doesn't have to be. But I always fly the ship. OK, if you're sure. Oh, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. I'm flying. Look at me. Look at me. Being weightless looks like fun. Woo, woo. <laughs> ah, woo. Hmm. Oh. Maybe I could use the autopilot just for a few seconds. Audrey? Autopilot for me, please. Autopilot activated. <gasps> wow! <Woo -hoo! laughs> I'm sure glad you could make it. Me too. On Earth, gravity keeps our feet on the ground. But in space, being weightless rocks. Yeah! yeah!